I am Jim Hudson, Tire Changer Product Manager for Hunter Engineering Company. We're going to go over the operation of the Maverick Tire Changer today. I got a fairly straightforward tire here that I'm going to change first. My pull up on my wheel lift pedal here on the left to, uh, to use my wheel lift, I can double tap that pedal load to bring it down automatically without, uh, without having to hold on it. I have a quick clamp here with a, a, a center knob right here in the middle that I'll push that knob down, go ahead and, and seat it against the center bore, fly out my handles, and then just kind of crank it till it's snug. I've got my wheel uh, clamped down, ready to go. Of course, I want to make sure I line up my traction pin with one of the, uh, the lug holes. At this point, I'm ready to start changing. Um, this tire changer here, the entire spindle moves in and out to make diameter adjustments. So there's only one adjustment I have to make, though. Um, at the very beginning of the process here. The, as you can notice, the, the head moves uh, back and forth. The rollers stay fixed and they're synced together. So I only have to make one diameter adjustment here uh, and set this roller right near the rim edge. So bring my roller down, just clear the rim edge. I'll push left on my joystick here to indent that roller. Once I'm clear of the rim edge, I'll come down just a little bit, break that bead, do the same thing with the bottom. I have a mirror that shows me what's going on down there. Break that bead using indent as well. Clear that roller out of the way, I'm done with it. So I've got a notch on my mount head called Smart Set. So that Smart Set notch shows me right where to set my head height. So I bring that head down right to the wheel edge and what I want to do is stop it right when that notch is right above the edge of the wheel. Um, and if I forget, I have a little sheet sheet here on my, my arm that shows me that proper set height. This has got a nice proportional control with this tire changer, so I can move just as fast or just as slow as I need, depending on how far I push those joysticks. So my head or my, my hook controls are actually on the same axis as my tool head. So if I push this joystick to the left, um, that hook will come down, go in, grab the bead. If I push it to the right, hook will come up and go ahead and start to uh, uh, rotate and demount that that top bead. So I can, I can basically run all of my tool head functions with, with one thumb, and really not even have to move. My bottom bead, I'm gonna actually push off with the, uh, with the roller, come up with my bottom bead, I'll indent, and just push that bottom bead off. Get the roller out of the way. When I clear that little roller, it'll automatically unindent to, uh, to you know, keep from clipping the wheel. The same thing with the upper roller, of course, when I go to clear that, that roller away, it'll automatically unindent. So, tire changers got some built-in smarts to, uh, just for some added, uh, added wheel safety. So, get ready and go back on. Minding my TPMS position, um, like I would with any tire changer, I wanna make sure that, that TPMS is always kind of rotated clockwise of the uh, of the mount head. So I've got a, a cheat sheet here I can look at in case I need a refresher on uh, recommended TPMS locations. So again, I'll use that smart set to uh, bring the head down right into the right position. One of the most important things, probably the most important thing about uh, mounting is keeping that bead in the drop center all the way around. So this is a fairly simple, you know, simple tire. But I'll still go ahead and use the bead press, just since it's there, to uh, make sure that top bead stays in the drop center all the way around that rotation. At this point, I'm done. I can go ahead and inflate. One of the unique features about the Maverick is inflation station. So I dial in my pressure, and I can hit start, and I can walk away then at that point. I can go uh, you know, grab another tire, grab a TPMS kit, whatever I might need to do. So I'll kind of stop it short here and uh, Unclamp just by you know simply unthreading. Push down my, my quick lock knob. So on my clamp, I'm ready to move on to the next assembly. All right, so let's move to something a little bit more complicated here. This is a 335 35 20 series. Um, this is a challenging assembly, but I have all the tools I need on the tire changer. All I need is some technique, and I'll show you what that looks like. Again, I'll use that wheel lift. Great way to get this big heavy tire in position without working that hard. The 
set my diameter. Now when I'm breaking the beads, especially on something like this, uh, I like to go in and, uh, and lube the beads just a little bit. It really helps decrease that demounting stress uh, with just a couple extra rotations here on bead break. Can save you some time and hassle here. All right, a lot of these tires like this really try to stay mounted up. They're, they're really only, the bead's only ever broken in a little, a little section of it. So what I'll do is I'll actually make a gap for my tool hook to go down into. Again, use that smart set to, uh, to set my position here. And I'll just bring my mount head down, or my, my roller down, excuse me, um, to open up that tire a little bit to let that, that hook go down in and hook that bead. Again, though, I still, have, uh, I still have tire here that's beaded up around the edges. I'm gonna have a hard time pulling that hook up and over the, you know, over the wheel unless I get that in a drop center. Easy to do as long as I have my bead press arm here to do it. And then the third thing that I like to do, especially on these really, really tight tires, is to bring my lower roller up and bump up with the lower roller um, on the tire, you can really see it start to, to relieve that uh, stress on the bead. Just kind of rotate slow, start it out. And I can go ahead and go fast. Get my head out of the way. Bottom bead is the same way, I'm gonna just use my uh, my roller by keeping my opposite edge of the tire in the drop center. I'll use my roller to push that bead up and off. So I got an extremely wide, extremely low profile tire. Um, changed really, really easily. Didn't break a sweat with just a few extra techniques here with the Mavic tire changer. Bring my mount head down again. Watch that smart set gap. Shows me where, where I need to put it. This time though, I'm gonna bring my bead press and my lower roller, my, excuse me, my upper roller down in order to really help maintain that upper, that, um, upper bead in the drop center and maintain that over under position across the back of the mount head. So I can go and start to rotate. If I have to adjust, I can adjust. Watch my tires, it rolls around the back of the mount head. I can rotate just as, just as slow as I want to or need to in all cases. Clear my tools, I can go and seat my beads. Again, hands-free process with the inflation station. And really that easily, I got a very, very challenging tire uh, change quickly and easily. I use my wheel lift again, love the wheel lift as a back saver. Double tap down and I'm on to the next wheel and tire.